biological family. We are with Karina, the physiotherapist that treated Suki. The little paralyzed kitten has very kindly agreed to come all the way to the shelter to assess Karina and see if there's anything he can do. Now, Karina x-rays showed severe hip dysplasia, where actually the top of both femur bones on both sides is completely degenerated. So it's not good news at all from that aspect. The good news is that she is much happier in herself with the analgesia that she's getting regularly. She is eating very well. She loves the food Yanis has been cooking. She was 25 kilos when she was rescued. That's half the size a dog her breed. She is now 37. She's also been treated for leishmaniasis. And she had treatment for one of her eyes, which uh, we think it was an infection. So we are doing, at the moment, all we can. Um, she was just too weak to have any more invasive procedures. So at the moment, we're just getting treated everything that we can and hopefully she will recover as much as possible, though the hips are very difficult. The, the physio is very, very concerned, and so is the vet. Now, she's got a very big kennel, as you can see, an extra large. The biggest kennel that we have, we gave it to her. It's got a new roof on it because we've been doing improvements on the upper level. And she has a bed inside, a soft bed, which she likes to move about. Now, you can also see Yorgis. Yorgis? He um, he's very experienced in working in animal shelters. Yanni's back is very bad. The doctor told him not to do any lifting at all, to take it easy. So Yanis put out the word amongst workers and Yogis happens to live near our shelter. So he came um, to do some work for us, to do all the heavy lifting that Yanis cannot do. And we are over the moon because Yanis needed the help. And Yorgis is very experienced, very much an animal lover. So, good news, I guess good news overall. We'll keep you updated. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now.